Hello and welcome. In this video we're going to be looking at this Ferguson Video Star. This is a top loading VHS. Now, I've dug this out of storage. Um, I don't know what, what we're going to find, whether it's going to be fixable. I do have a belt kit for it. So if it turns out it can be repaired, we can do the belts. But I don't know. I don't know why it was not. Um, why it didn't have anything done to it in the past, or what 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 the story is. Now I've took these screws out. The mechanism's looking a little bit bleak. But this screw here doesn't want to come out. So I'm going to have to go at that with something, possibly a Dremel and cut a slot in it or something to get it off. So I'll be back. Well, luckily I've got the screw out. So I put the screws in the top here. I'm just going to put them out the way for now. Lift that off. So here's the inside of the machine. It does look a bit crusty. Um, but I don't know I'm going to withhold my judgement as to whether it's shot or not a tape here and uh, hmm. let's try primary load that works okay so let's flip it over uh, we'll take the front panel off it and the back back panel and just have a look at the mechanism from underneath bottom of this is held on with six screws you need to do this to be able to change the belt kit because some of the belts are in the bottom some are in the top now, what I am going to do with this is there's various rubber parts in it that do look degraded and I'm going to give them a soak overnight and uh, hopefully that will, um, will help. Looks like there was a property of somebody on the bottom of here, look. Lower board. The screws down here nicely they put blue screws in for you to identify them I don't know whether we'll get this working it is a little rough but we will try there's another one here this was also released as both a JVC and a bed machine in various incarnations. Take the front off. Okay, so the front's off now as well and that will allow us to lift up. And here we can see the belts. Now straight away I'm going to unplug this pin because it's tight now belts in here this belt here drives a, uh, a, a wheel which I think might be the one for the timer um, obviously that's the capstan drive belt that is very stuck this belt here does the loading and unloading so if this one's playing up it won't load the deck so what we've kind of discovered here is there's no way that this machine is going to load if we were to um, put a tape into it. I've released a couple of the cables. Now, from, my, from memory, from what I can remember, this belt here was a little bit of a swine. Obviously these two here are both fairly easy to do. Amazingly, nothing is seized up. 
so I think the first thing we'll do is we'll take this cover off here lift the caps in out take the belt off give it a clean replace these belts replace this belt here which is the loading belt these are um, a swine what happens is they start to slip and then the mechanism will only partly load and I've got in the back of my head that if you take that out there's something in the back of the mechanism that goes out of sync so this is the flywheel on the capstan this is the clapton drive motor and I can't remember what that does so I'm just going to lift some of this wiring out of the way Take these two screws out here bit of a blast from the past for me this is as um, in my teens this is what I did for a job so I'm just going to save the two screws I don't want them falling down inside the mechanism even though this one does seem rather content, content to try and do so yeah hopefully that's come out the bottom as I've dropped it I'll go and have a look for it in a second so when we'll lift it that off there's a bearing that the capstan runs off just with plastic so this motor this belt off here now I'm going to lift the capstan out because the belt has stuck to it and I'm a little bit concerned that we may have some other uh, issues around that so let's just pop it out and we'll have a look yeah the belt's well and truly stuck so um, let's get that off I'll be back I'm going to use a standing knife blade to clean that up so so far I've got the belt off like this so I think I'm going to get my little dremel and just go around with a little wire brush and just knock the rest of that off so I've given it a clean make sure that little washer stays in there feed this all back into place and it's free hoping you can belt it is in some sort of state of usability because it also has probably been knocking around for 20 years it is it's rubbery so just feed that around there look This one in here. This was the medium length of the three belts. The short one does the, the short thin one does the tape. No. There's a short thick one that goes here. I'm not going to make any predictions on where the others go because it's been too long. Uh, I think there's one underneath the deck from what I remember. So that's back in place. We'll put this back into here. At least now we have a chance that the capstan might turn. If we'd have tried this with the tape straight off, it would have just not worked. There's a lot of these floating around on the internet that are uh, what is described as untested. <coughs> okay. Right, so that's the capstan belt done and this belt here. The next one we've got to do is this mechanism here. Now the problem we face is we can't take this mechanism out. I can't honestly remember what the problem was if you take it out but I do remember there is an issue and the way you do it is you get this clip off here and then you move the shaft that way and that gives you enough clearance to change the belt. So I'm probably going to get my head in your way if I do I'll cut it out. So, 
the trick with this is not losing this um, little metal clip which I am good at doing then you can push this shaft this way and as you do so there's a little rubber plastic rubber not sure ring there you need to save now take the belt off and that should be that one so I pull this one all the way out and it gives me enough movement here to just feed this round as I say there's no synchronizing here but I think from what I remember there's some synchronizing underneath there was some reason why you don't take it apart could have just been it took too long and this was a quicker method in the in the back in the day in the TV shop but I hope let's go there we go and push this shaft back in and then I'm just going to convince the band to go all the way around here so it goes into the correct position and just sort of push it down here look and convince it to come across so as I'm doing this I'm also trying here to convince it to be underneath. So we just want the belt to be in the groove, like that. Then we get that, pop it onto the motor drive, and there we go. And then I'm just going to put those two little clips back on, while the little spacer in the clip. There's a little black ring gone on. That's going to sit back there out the way. Now, I'm trying to convince this to go into place. <clears throat> From what I remember, this point now is where I lose the spring clip. It appears to be magnetic itself, magnetic. All my screwdriver does. Gonna push it down and there it goes. Is it difficult? No, but it is awkward. So next what we're gonna do, I'm gonna put the cables back into place where they believe where they live and we'll turn it back the other way around. So, so that was this grey bundle of cables here went back into here along with these here. Now when I shut this down, I released some cables from here I need to put back into situ. They also have lived here. And the same here. And I've got a cable here that I unplugged. I want to plug back in. That goes back down into place. And uh, I'm going to just put a screw in it just to hold it. Um, so that it, I'm not chasing it round. So I've got a couple of screws, but one over this side here. There's no real reason I should need to take that back apart again, but you just don't know. Okay. So that's going to hold the board there. We'll turn that back over and I'll be back. There's the video deck. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take the deck out. Again, the light blue screws tell us everything. I'm 
take those out. Then I'm going to press eject and lift the mechanism straight out. Now, when I'm looking into here, here's the long belt and the short belt that we've got left on the tape counter. This one here, I think, has got a sensor on it from what I remember, it does the rotations. Now, amazingly, the rubbers are not too bad, but this one's not very good. This is the tape tensioner. This puts the pre-tension on from this side of the tape. This looks to be in a bit of rough state, so it's possible that the machine will attempt to play, but won't play. So we'll try it. So I'll take this belt off here. I'll take this belt off here. And we'll replace them. Now, if you're just trying to do a belt kit, that's how to do it. This one is a little bit of a lap because you've got to feed it in from the front on the tape counter. And there's a little gap it goes through. But as long as you get it in the front there, before you ping it onto there, there's your tape counter. Now, in view of this other issues, I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to hoover around here and I'm going to actually put a tape in it and see what happens. Well, I've applied power and amazingly, it's come to life. Put a tape in. And uh, let's start by pressing rewind. So fast forward. Play. Ooh. So unfortunately at this point it's not spooling the tape in and out, um, so I'm not entirely sure why. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove the cassette out of here, along with the cassette mechanism straight up, and um, then we will press some buttons and see what we've got going on with the mechanism. Now I know the head motor is really noisy, I'm a little bit under convinced on that as to whether it's going to ever play well, but now in all honesty I was expecting it to shred the tape and it didn't so I'm kind of impressed. Now in here, one of these multiple mechanisms tells it there's a tape in. This one here. So okay, so we've got this rotating here. So there's play. Fast forward. The lack of fast forward appears to be down to the state of these rubbers. And uh, 
I think the same will probably apply with rewind. Go back to play. Now, that mechanism that I showed you isn't managing to take the um, the deck all the way into play. Now, quite honestly, with the condition of the head drums in this, I don't think that it's going to be viable to salvage the machine. Um, along with the the rubbers here being being um, being worn out, to get this working properly, you're going to have to change every rubber part, all of these parts. So you're going to have to change the head drum itself. So the cost of this is going to be getting quite high. It's a shame, but on the plus side, it does show you what's inside one of these video stars and what's involved in changing the belts. I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, unfortunately, it's another one of those videos where things didn't go to plan, but I have got another VHS machine that I am going to do some videos with, and uh, that hopefully will be a working machine. So enjoy. Thank you.